Testing, testing, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so it's like 1 p.m. in the afternoon right now. Pretty nice day, it's kind of chilly. So I just went to get brunch with Siddharth, who is my second host in Copenhagen, and his friend Alexander from Italy. Gotta freak out, I should send the same. run around this island of Jurgarden uh, and check out this shipwreck museum which is supposed to be the best attraction in Stockholm. Alright, I think I've talked enough. This is a nice plaza. I'm heading that way. What this? This is the Nordiska Museum. Water montage number 2048. Check out those clouds though. outside of the Vasa Museum, the Shipwreck Museum. The giant ship. I'm on a boat. Well, not yet. Actually. actually, this is pretty cool. So basically, the story of this museum is one ship that sank right after sailing in the 1600s. Everything in the museum is related to this one ship that they salvaged in the 1900s. Wow. Did not realize boats were so big. This dude's kind of fat with a pH. Types of powders for sale here. These are the pigments. Uh, um, there's a lot of science that went behind recovering the colors of the sculptures. A section on every skeleton that they found on board the ship, and they assign names to them. They live on in our hearts forever. Try to recount the person's life story through scientific analysis. Science. What's up, bro? Not much. How about you? Facial reconstruction. This is a piece of bread from 2000. Actually, I just read this article today about these two dudes who took a McDonald's burger 20 years ago and put it in a box. They took it out today. Or not today, but sometime now. Swedish elevator is this. This is a reconstruction of the inside of the ship. Look at this, they tied people to a rope and threw them in water to punish them. That's why kids nowadays have no morals. What is it that everybody has and some pirates and thieves try to take? The booty. I straight up stole that from a tripod quest song. I didn't make that joke up. It's a good song too. Yar. I'm right here and my plan for the next two hours is to run around this island, your garden. The whole place is supposed to be a super nice park. Yeah, that museum was pretty cool. I can see why it's the highest rated place here on TripAdvisor. It's just cool. I would recommend it. I'm not really a museum's type of guy, but I enjoyed it. I need to shave. Pizza Hut advertisement on my map. USA, USA. Water montage 5012. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a statue here, but there's no statue. Illuminati. No man's land over here. All right, one of these layers is coming off. It's getting hot. I've reached the eastern part of the island. The isolated here, I've been running for a while. There's a lot more people on the other side of the island where you come from, the more central area. But now it's just me here, because I'm a hipster. I'm too cool to hang out with other people. Except that swan right there. I'd say this is by far the best running venue I've ever been on. I think the camera doesn't do it justice nor do words, or maybe I'm just bad with both of them. It's pretty cool. What up, birdies? Alright, it's 4 o'clock. That island was a lot bigger than I thought it was. And I was scared I was like lost and shit. I've been running for an hour 20 minutes, pretty much non-stop. So I guess that's around 10 miles. I don't know, I thought the island would be a lot smaller. But it wasn't, but you know, that's fine. Now I'll go chill and stretch. I'm gonna go find food, because my body wants those calories back. I got this potato thing from the supermarket. I have no idea what it is, but I'm super hungry right now. This is the run. It sounds like it would be really good. Cheese and bacon hot dog from the press by Ron. These are everywhere. They're like 7-Elevens. I'm not sure where the bacon is. Laundry time. Putting my clothes in the dryer. So laundry here is super crazy. Basically you sign up online for laundry time slots on a certain unit and you have to do this two to three days in advance and it's super organized. Everything was in Swedish so I had to ask some random girl to translate the instructions for me. Awesome. They're not completely dry, but 
Yeah, I've been wearing the same two jackets for eight days straight now. But hey, they don't smell bad. I don't have leprosy. So you know what? It's gonna be okay. Crap. I put my SL card in the washer. Dryer. <laughs> like potatoes. So the subway goes like this. I went to the same Swedish place with my host and his new roommate, who's a PhD student from Norway. She was really nice. Had the potato things that I took a video of. Yeah, that's it. It was a pretty fun night, actually. I'm gonna sleep.